If you are over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. Benny Lasbury was a young, poor African-American kid who inadvertently got caught up in the mob when he came to the aid of a mafia captain under the attack by a group of assassins. Benny saved the man's life, and in return, he becomes the head of the mafia's drug operation. By the house of Lasbury in the description box. Right Due to AIDS, um, what is your thoughts on the way your father passed away? Um, it, it wasn't it wasn't what the world knows, I'll tell you that. That's like, I, I could just feel, you know what I mean? Um, mm. Some things going on and some things that have been presented to some individuals and shared um as far as and just you know you know our own opinion and our own thought process why we feel this way and and, and everybody else can sit here and have their thoughts oh this is what it is this is what it is you know right. no, my daddy had a lot of money you know what i'm saying and it, it could have been detected before it became full-blown um and then nobody in in the realm of dealing with him has contracted even HIV itself, you know what I'm saying? Um, so it was just a little mysterious. Uh, for people who want to sit here and put their dialogue on why, what we're working the other, let's just say you're coming from a kid who was young, but we knew what was going around and going on at that hospital and around it, you know what I'm saying? It's just too much, you know, funny stuff for it to just to be that. And then when you have a lot of paperwork and a lot of different things being away, it'd be like, oh, why? And then I'm gonna leave you with one thing, another thing, one more thing. We mm -hmm. talking about Easy E, my daddy. So yeah, when so. you want to go investigate some stuff about this patient that you had in your hospital, this hospital comes to the point where they don't have record or, 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 or remember the fact of having a patient named Eric Wright. He was the biggest patient with the most calls than Lucille Ball. Lucille mm -hmm. Ball, y'all OGs, come on now. Mm -hmm. Then Lucille Ball, when she was there. So it's just too much just mm. stuff that was just, you know, and then I got sisters who gonna go do the footwork or the footwork to figure out and find out things. But as far as the kids, that was the main thing I didn't touch back on. Uh, I went to a private school, bro. You feel what I'm saying? My father kept me in a private school. I didn't go to a public school until I became 14 in ninth grade. When I got to that public school, they asked my grandmother, is there anything different you want to sit here or you have or what that you will do? She put me in a, in, in a program where I had to keep a 4.0. I'm a gang banger. Yeah, but grandma's not playing with this education. You right. know what I'm saying? So just to highlight people, this might say, oh, he talks good. He talks proper. I'm going to keep it real. I appreciate the, you know, the, 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 the just just knowing or even giving me the respect. But his grandma kept me in a program. So my main thing as far as when I took an elective, when I got in there, because I had more classes, I had less classes than the average kid, and I had more chances for electives because of the fact that I was taking these advanced classes. I took health. I took health. Why? I want to learn everything about this disease. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why? It took my daddy away from me. You feel right. what I'm saying? And then I want to stay away from it too. Girls asking me at 16, you know what I mean? Easy son. You, do you have anything wrong with you? Oh, damn. damn. Shit. You know, no, no, no. Other painful things that I went through in life as well. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time. I said, well, shit, the first girl took my virginity. She looked me in the eyes and said it like she wanted me to get tested right then and there. You feel what I'm saying? And then I'm, as a man, I broke down and cried. Why? Because, damn, this is this is how y'all think of me. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I individually fucked a girl who, know, hey, it is all we do. She ended up letting it happen. But, you know, she was just being a, a young you know, safe woman. That ain't bad. You feel what I'm saying? That ain't not bad in this world. So I don't want the kids to take that in any way at all. You feel what I'm saying? Just the man to know I'm a virgin my damn self. So what the fuck I got? You feel what I'm saying? But it's just an aspect and it just, you know, of your daddy passing away from it, this going on. So I studied this shit, man. And that, that was another haunting thing as a painful thing growing up. You feel what I'm saying? I studied this motherfucker all the way and it just don't add up. It don't add up to the things that you were doing if he, if he wasn't even close to full blown AIDS or period point blank at all. They, like it wasn't, shouldn't have been no no type of surgeries. There shouldn't have been no type of, you know what I'm saying, cutting in all this than the other. You feel what I'm saying? When you fight with your white blood cells, why are we doing why are we doing this type of shit? It was a lot of funny stuff that was just plain and simple stupid. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, 
Go, yeah, my fault. No, no, you good, you good. It just, like I said, it just wasn't. So that, that's just a little bit. I'm gonna leave you with our personal opinions of just early on why we didn't believe that as his family. Not a not a person in our family believes that. I don't care what anybody. All this, that, and the other. If you want to know, you want to know, question all that. There's not a person in my family believes my father died of that. You see a lot of real mysterious deaths within hip hop, in particular. Um, but I, they don't I, speak. It's true. But they don't speak on my father's. We 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 just no. looking at a uh, 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 <laughs> was that Prince and and my. Michael Jackson, I just seen something where this individual sit there, all oh, these guys want to question the record industry. We're doing that. Prince Michael, I was like, hey, I want to sit here and put on the caption. That we're well, let's go back. Even for before my father, but let's go back to my father. You know what I'm saying? Like, do do individuals know that 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 he put the Rico act on, on on them? When you try to sit here and say, Hey, oh, we didn't we didn't told him to come over here and meet us at a at a, at a, at a studio, rough him up and got him to sign over. Oh, you mean when he sold Mickey, when he signed Mickey Mouse every single time? You feel what I'm saying? And 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 the fact of why Dre Day still made easy payday? Why? Because by law, by paperwork, ain't nothing you can do about that. So it's just simple. Why do we think that Bill Cosby does something? Oh, now he puts in jail. Michael Jackson does something. Oh, this should happen. So we don't want right. to think back to when not only did he fire somebody who was who was who was who, a Jewish. Let's just say that. Let's not only did he fire somebody who was Jewish. Not mm. only did he sit here and 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 he's a from Compton, California, as a nigga, not a not a Afri not a black man making a way and 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 and, and with a role model for these individuals, good credit and all that, got a good business, doing good, came moved from any other from a nice family home. No, we came out the slum, Compton, California, and he made it happen, selling drugs. Okay, okay, we always we always know how they look about that, and you own everything, you own everything. Wow, they they gonna let they gonna let you have that much power? You know everything. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like man, you feel what I'm saying? Let's put it this way. Remember the movie um, American Hustle? Remember when yeah. Denzel when Denzel lost the friends? You cut the friends off. That's when the trouble and problems start happening. So mm. I just see that everybody who runs this who runs this 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 music world, and when you cut that off, it's all action at you. It's all action at you, daddy. You feel what I'm saying? It's all action at you. Why are you stop? You short stopping? Are you short stopping somebody? That's all anybody got to look at. Anytime a brother in the hood gets hit up, he's a big dope dealer, or anything like that. Any other? What's the first thing they think about? He got any enemies? He got any people jealous about him? You know, these are the these are the ones that police detectives do this type of shit. He got any enemies? Yeah, this, true. this, this. Let's go down the line of why jealousy. You feel what I'm saying? Money can make what? What the boy said? American Hustle, the the, the, the the Italian. He's like, hey, you can. You could be broke and have plenty of friends. You could be rich and, 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 and piss some people off. Yeah. You know what I'm so I asked myself as a kid growing up, it's just common sense that just some people got to just look at my, my daddy's story. Was he taking any money from anybody? Okay. He's a, oh, he was taking money from the billionaire. The only billionaire in, 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 in hip hop music. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that was the problem right there, Eric. Come on. Come on. We, we, all, we all sit here and just, <laughs> we ate all our Wheaties, huh? Like, come on, man. We all lost. You t he, t he taking money, don't have to do nothing. Sit up, kick his feet up. Lifetime contract. Lifetime contract. I'm going to tell you. Go look it up. Go look, do any paperwork. Lifetime contract. Wow. And you're going to ask me. Is, all I'm going to ask is, does anybody dislike him? We know that. Is he sure stopping anybody from money? Is he taking money from anybody? Big money. Him. Big yeah. companies. He's taking big money from big companies. And then now here, now let me let me now let me give you a little bit more information. Now you wonder what the conversation with Suge was about on the phone. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Man. There you go, brother. There you go. Louisie.com. I'm gonna give it to y'all in my documentary. But yeah, now yeah, you yeah. want to know what the conversation which what why why Suge wants to talk to me and why I want to entertain the conversation. Why? Because I don't need to preview to this. Yeah. But as a man and as a man's man, a man's son, I just want some closure to some things. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it gets to the point to, hey, the motherfucker out there, if they're watching this podcast and out there, I'm not looking to go put no bullets in nobody's house, home, or nobody. Just want some closure. Just want, I just want to know. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Just want to know. You feel what I'm just like I told my sister, it could be, it could be, it could be a, uh, ooh, it could be a crucial thing to pull out them, you know, independent, you know, that box. A crucial thing to turn over some information. Right. Hey, you feel what I'm saying? 
some of them ready for it. You feel what I'm saying? I went through a lot of, of, of my big brother, my big brother, my big brother. You don't, you don't, you don't. And I had to break it down to them, pull my glasses off and tell their ass, are you ready? Are you ready for what you're going to expose and when you want to see who do we all know? We all think about it. But if y'all got to the point in life and who do that y'all want to, and they cry to me and they sit there and say, hey, and it's for their kid, they feel they want to do this and they just want to live their life, at least just knowing, fuck it, fuck it. Let's go, let's go find out. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of them as I'm, I'm a big brother. I'm tired of them feeling like I'm not doing my due diligence as, as a big brother slash father figure, you know what I mean? Yeah. To, 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 to give them what they want, we'll do it. Why not? Why? Because your brother been known what's, what's going on. It's shit, it's shit. These niggas can't fool me. You know what I mean? You can't fool me, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not asking as far as which one did it. I'm asking for just let the world know it was foul play. That's all. Now, now if you had a message or you want you talk to Jer Jerry Heller, um, what would you say to him if you wanted to give him a oh, message? I talked to Jerry. I talked to Jerry. You talked to him? Okay. Yeah, okay. And, and you know the crazy part about it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, see, see, you have some cool brothers. I'm going to share a little bit. crazy part about it is why he will leave that indication on my mind. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep just a little bit of it for all like I sure. said, Dr. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I have right. going on. But why would he leave an indication on my mind? Mm. You know what I mean? My document, I'm gonna tell you word for word what was said. You feel what I'm saying? Word for word of why I leave that indication. Why would you even think oh you think that too? Okay, cool. I'm not fishing in a in, 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 in a raw pond. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not fishing for the moon in the pond, basically. There you go. Not fishing for the moon in the pond, you feel what I'm saying? So cool. Cool. It's some blue gills and guppies in here. Cool, brother. No, I'm I'm fishing in the right ocean. No, that's all I want to know. And this is coming from a person who I just wanted to go sit down. It wasn't even about as far as a nap because when it comes down to it, people think about it. Why are you like that? Why are you like this? Is my daddy was making ten million a month. Do I'm sitting here saying, hey, rob my father and we'll do any other? But what makes you think that any, any, especially if he's an outside, not to say outside race, but just another. He didn't grow up with you. He's not. He's not your brother that's sitting next to you on his podcast. He's not him. He over there making ten million for your podcast company, and you ain't got to worry about him over here going in to go get his daughter a credit card, get his brother a credit card. You feel what I'm saying? We can have an eye to eye understanding as far as and hey, I just respect and know me and you, all three of us got a podcast. This podcast, he right. bringing in ten million from it. I'm dang cool. It's coming in. I, I don't got to sweat that I got to distrust if I'm doing business with you two. But now let's say when you sit here and we got this individual who knows Eric got to write every check. I know what every account is doing. I know what everything. Dre, Cube, Yella, Brand, all y'all might not know nothing. I know. Because why? I didn't set this man up to be in this position. And I know what position he is. And I know what type of money he's test, test, uh, uh, touching. You feel what I'm saying? So so when people ask me that, it's, it's not the fact to say that I'm okay with it, but it's just the fact to sit there and say, I'm going to be surprised. I'm gonna be surprised. <gasps> Jerry then took some money. Jerry then took a couple of million. You know, he making 10 million a year and I'm 10 million a month. And Jerry didn't sit here and snuffed and, and, and got this, that, and the other. I'm not surprised if that's true. If that's truth to it, okay. I'm not surprised about it. Find out, Pop, hey, do what you gotta do. You feel what I'm saying? But that ain't the questions I wanted to sit here and get Jerry with. I wanted to get Jerry with stuff that my grandma might not know. Why? Because Jerry's been with my daddy how long? How many days? How many hours? Right. My father, we talking about. You feel what I'm saying? I want to know everything about him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, what bitch did he have? If you're over the age of 35 and over the years you've eaten pizza, dairy foods, deli meats, or meats with fat, you are likely to have some degree of plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. This increases your risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack exponentially, and no one wants such a catastrophic event to occur. Introducing Plaque Out. Plaque Out is made of all natural ingredients proven to help. Dissolve clots in the blood. Remove calcium deposits and plaque from the walls of veins and arteries. Improve viscosity of the blood. Improve elasticity of the veins and arteries. Treat varicose veins. And prevent the reoccurrence of plaque buildup. For more information, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7888.